Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the BIOS on an ASUS ROG Strix B550F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, even if you don't have a CPU, memory, or GPU installed. And it's going to use the special BIOS flashback feature that this particular motherboard has. And the reason you might want to do this, the reason you need to do this in some cases, is that if you have a Ryzen 5000 series CPU, it might not work in this motherboard straight from the factory because the motherboard might have an old BIOS version that doesn't support that CPU. Before we go any further, these are the key steps to using BIOS flashback on this motherboard. I'm not going to read them to you. You can pause it and refer back to it later, but it's important that you follow all of these steps. If you miss any or just skip a step, it's probably not going to work for you. I also want to quickly go over the page in the motherboard manual that covers this procedure. Surprisingly, Azus does a pretty good job of documenting this. So it walks you through everything you need to do on page 2-12, like you see right here. It talks about all the steps you need to go through, and it even has a picture of the back of the motherboard that shows you the correct port to use. But I'm going to demonstrate all of this in the video coming up. So when you find this motherboard on the internet, you should probably end up on the features page like you see here. And you need to switch over to the support page. And once you get to the support page, you want to switch over to the drivers and tools page and then switch to BIOS and firmware. And this will show you the different BIOS versions that are available. And if you click on see all downloads, it shows you all of them. So the one that's available right now, the latest version at the time of the recording is version 2201 and it's a beta version BIOS. And I know some people are nervous about using beta version BIOSes, so if you don't feel comfortable doing that, don't use a beta version. Go and use the next most recent one. But it's important that you have at least version 1004 that came out in August of 2020. That's the oldest version that will support a Ryzen 5000 series processor. And you really want to get the latest version possible because lots of bugs get fixed with these BIOS updates. And if you just have a one from over a year ago, you're going to have more problems with your motherboard. So once you decide which one you want to download, go ahead and download it. And it's a pretty small download. It should come down quite quickly. After you download the file, it should be in your downloads folder. So here it is on my system. It's just a zip file. You want to right click and pick extract and then go ahead and extract that to another directory. And when you do that, you'll see that you have two files here. You've got the actual BIOS flash file here, and then you have a little utility called biosrenamer.exe that lets you automatically rename that BIOS file into the proper name that ASUS requires for this procedure. So if you just double click on that, it'll open up a little DOS window, command prompt, and it renamed the file. So you can see here's the new file name that you need. Next, you need a USB drive to copy that file to, and it needs to be a USB 2.0 drive. And in my experience, it's much better if it's a small capacity, so 16 gigabytes or smaller seems to work really well. And before you actually use that, you wanna double check and see how it's been formatted. So right here, we can see that mine is formatted with FAT32. If you check your USB flash drive and it's formatted in NTFS, for example, you need to reformat it so that it's FAT32. And this is something you have to do. There's no way around it. So mine's already set up and going to work just fine. So we'll leave that there. And then the next step is just copy this renamed file down to the root of that drive. And it's important that it's in the root, not in a directory or folder. So now we have the USB drive all ready to go and we're ready to go to the actual motherboard and get ready to flash the BIOS. Let's take a quick look at the message that the BIOS renamer utility shows. It says this file has been renamed to rb550fgw.cap to use the BIOS flashback, copy the file to the root of your USB flash drive. So Zeus is saying right there to copy this file to the root of the flash drive. It's that important. OK, 
Okay, you've got to plug in both of these connectors. So there's the 24 pin connector. And then here is the 8 pin connector. And that's all there is to it. So right there is the USB port that you want to plug this into. And then there's the button that you're going to push when you're ready to flash the BIOS. So we'll go ahead and put that USB in there, just like that. So now it's ready to go. The next thing you do is turn on the power supply. And then you hold down this button. You only need to hold down the BIOS flash button for two to three seconds, and then you'll see the little green light flashing at the bottom left, just to the left of the button. And if your USB drive has an LED, you should see it flashing. But that is not as important as that green light. That's what you really want to watch for. And watching that is key to this, because when that stops flashing, that means that it's done. There's the little green light that's going to flash while the BIOS is being flashed. And none of the other lights really matter very much. So only worry about that green light right there. Here's a different angle on that all-important green flashing light. You'll probably also see some decorative lights around the BRM heatsink. That doesn't really matter. And here you can also see the USB LED flashing. And that doesn't really matter, to be honest. The way you know that it's done is when that green light stops flashing. So it should look like this. Nothing else really matters as far as lights that are on or off. Only that green light is what you want to look for. Let's cover some frequently asked questions. The first one is, can you do this with a fully assembled system instead of a bare system? And the answer is yes, you can. But if you do that, do not turn on your system with the case power button. You don't want the system to be on and running. You just want to follow the directions in the video and it'll work just fine on a fully assembled system. The second one is, do you need to do this if you have a Ryzen 3000 series processor? And the answer is no, you don't. It'll work, your Ryzen 3000 series processor will work with any BIOS version for this motherboard. And if you do want to update your BIOS, it's a lot easier to use the regular ASUS Easy Flash 3 feature in the BIOS setup program. And you should do that if your system will already post. Another question I get a lot is, is it safe to use a beta BIOS version for this? And I think it is, but if you're nervous about it, then don't. Don't use a beta BIOS version. And then finally, the question that I get more than any other is, I've tried this on my system and it doesn't work. What do I do? Well, if that's the case, it's usually a problem with your USB flash drive. So maybe it's a USB 3.0. Maybe it's formatted in NTFS instead of FAT32. Maybe you didn't put the BIOS flash file in the root of the drive. There's lots of little things that you might have done wrong. And so the way you usually know that that's a problem is if that green LED only flashes for, say, four or five seconds and stops, then that's usually a problem with the USB flash drive. So if you have a problem, leave a comment and that describes what happens when you try to do this procedure with as much detail as possible. Don't just say it didn't work. And if you leave a de detailed comment, maybe I can help you troubleshoot it. And then finally, make sure you've watched the entire video and that you followed all the directions exactly. Because if you miss one little step, it probably won't work. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMB LLC, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out. Really? You have a lot to say.